Well, welcome to a new Harry's Garage video and I am back at Ian Tyrrell's workshop because the Countach has been a lot of progress on it and there's heads being ground in there, the engines here all shiny and there's some other bits to show you as well. Um, I think it's been about a month since last year. There has been a hiccup in the gearbox which we'll go through but some of the gearbox is here and it's quite an interesting story what's happening, what Lamborghini are doing with the gearbox. Anyway, Ian's somewhere. Let's go and have a look what's going on. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. All hands on, on it, heads. It, there are, aren't there? I feel yes. as though I'm missing out. Because I, I have done this as a kid. I, well, not as a kid, when I was 18, 20, lapped in valves like this. And I am very glad I never did a V12. Particularly That's, with four valves per cylinder. And four valves per cylinder. Yeah, yeah, that is quite a lot of work, isn't it? It is. And you can't, you can't get it around it. It's got to be done. Modern, modern cars, they don't lap the valves in. Don't they? When m cars manufactured these days, the ones with internal combustion engines, yeah. um, they just, the valves just seat straight away. <sighs> They're so finely machined. But oh. um, yeah, well, Marcus these, and Alex are... Well, this is the grinding paste that I'm sure I've used the same thing. It looks the same tin. It's like a Brasso tin. Yeah, they've so, been around for decades. They have, haven't they? Uh, so you've got, you've got fine at that end. Of, Oh, God. That's, oh, I didn't have that. I just had the one. I'm oh. sure I had the one grade. God, look at that. Right. OK. So get valve. What's, so what, just to recap, what we've done to the heads, you've... Right. So they've been, they've been decarbonised. Yeah. Um, and the exhaust valve guides were tricky. Right. Uh, so we've got new valve guides, um, put them in, and they're cast iron, actually. Okay. So they're very hardy cast it? iron. I mean, right. They're not uh, brass. I've always thought they were sort of brass. Well, but... the Germans love phosphor bronze, but they okay. wear a lot. Okay. And I remember, for example, taking the head off a four litre Jaguar XJ years ago, yeah. and that had cast iron valve guides. Yeah. After 100,000 miles, there was no play in them whatsoever. Right. Fantastic. Well, why? But mine did, didn't they? So yeah. It, yeah. But of course, you know, a four litre Jag engine didn't do seven thousand eight hundred no. RPM. No. Um, but the yeah, they, if you remember, the bottom end was fine. Yeah. We did cylinder leak downs. Yeah. But the the valves, some of the valves were actually leaking so badly there was yeah, no there was, there was no shiny seat or no. uh, on the valve of the um, the head. Right. Okay. So yeah. So yeah. yeah, we haven't changed the seats, have we? Well, no, we not. haven't. So no. we're just lapping in the original valves to get yes. a better seal. They've been lightly touched, the valve seats, just to line them up. Oh, OK. Because they they're unleaded compatible anyway. Oh, OK. So um, just so that we've got a uniform fitting and right. they're doing the, uh, and the magic. is doing that with that same you know, thing with a sucker on the end that I had as oh, well. Yeah. 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 I think anybody who's rebuilt an engine will recognise this stage, won't they? Absolutely. Yeah, we all go through it. Yeah. But uh, not on a quarter of our V12. <laughs> and anyway, of course, uh, when you come to set the tappets... Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got to, you've got to work out start the shim again, won't it? Because as you grind it in, you're just changing that clearance on the valve, aren't you? You're, presumably, it'll go slightly into the head. Yes. As it, as it happens. Exactly. Wow, and you're doing the guides on the inlet side as well then? Yes, they're on the way. They'll be here shortly, but... Um, and they're and cast then, iron as well? They are, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh OK. Oh, so I can hear a different sound there, because that's... You probably won't pick it up on the mic, but that is when it's sort of coarse ground. Are you using coarse that's or... That's coarse to start, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh that's your coarse yeah. can there. Because you've yeah, you got well posh. We've even got, got two, two cans. cans. No two expense cans. spared here, yeah. you know. I can't get over the budget on this. <laughs> it's, we're yeah. blowing our brains yeah, out. Yeah, we really, really are. Yeah. Um, oh. Well, that's good. Anyway, there's many hours of fun to be had there, isn't absolutely. there? Absolutely. I'm afraid. Yes. But you have some gears. You can yes. show me some new gear. Here's my new gear. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. And here's my old gear. Somewhere, you will yeah. see the wear on it. There is all the wear. I have no idea if that will show up on camera, but I will drop it in if it doesn't. And here's the new gear, and you think, yeah, great. But there's a very big but here, isn't there? There is. Um, I can't believe. Well, this Lamborghini, I mean, quite clearly, they had problems with gearboxes. Right. Okay. This is my original shaft. There's with, the play in the yeah. wall. So if you, put, as well. if you put that on there. Yeah. Lots of play. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the, the actual teeth on the gear what Lamborghini have done is they've altered the amount of teeth so that's got more even though the gears are exactly the same diameter 
yeah. there's more teeth and they've done that to, to actually quieten it and strength because the angle of the teeth is different as well. That's sort right. of 30 degrees and that's more like 40. Yeah. Um, and we can't just replace the gear. No, we, because we have to have its counterpart. Which they don't tell you when you're ordering it. Precisely. Or they don't tell you you can't easily get hold of it. No. Um, but that's, that's the new shaft, which is obviously exactly... It, it is, thank mercifully, the same as the other one. Right, yeah. Um, and that goes on there. Super tight. And is a lovely yeah. fit. Lovely fit. But um, we need the other gear. We so do. Lamborghini. Yes. If you're watching this video, can you please send us the other gear so they can build the gearbox up? Yes, exactly. Uh, <sighs> yes, no way will those two mesh or no, anything. So. No, it doesn't. I mean, I'll, I'll prove it just so for the camera. There is no meshing going on at all. It's not the wrong way around. It is completely different gear. Yeah. <clears throat> That's to make it stronger. It is, it is positive. If we do get the other gear, yeah. then that will be good. And it's black because our suspicion is they've nitrided it for extra right. strength again. Right. Well, to be continued then, isn't it? Gearbox it is. rebuild yes. until that part arrives. We yes. can't start Because Italy rebuilding. closes in August, of course. Well, yes. But so. I just wish they'd warn you, you know, there should be something when you're ordering it that this is a new gear. We've improved it. But you need the other gear. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. There we are. Right. Anyway, engine. Engine is still here and still looking lovely and shiny. Yes. I'm very glad we don't. We're not going into it. Thank goodness, because well, everything was perfect. Yeah. Balls Everything's perfect. crusty, as Del Boy would say. Yeah. yeah. I just thought the, this is this is an interesting little bit of. Uh, whoops. Lamborghini ness. Yeah. Exactly. This is a spacer plate. Obviously, he says banging it against the cylinder head studs, um, and it sits with this tiny tiny rubber o-ring which i'm guessing you'll have a new one yes i think we yes hang <laughs> yeah. on again uh, yeah you know let's um, oh. Oh. um right. okay. and that that basically sits on top of the block like so yeah and um, that goes around the liners and that gives you your standing height on the liners but that's where the um. extra cc comes from oh right it's so it's it's a longer stroke Oh, right, because the block was originally made as a 4 litre and it's yes. grown to a 5.2. Exactly. And so that's how they did it. Yeah, so uh, these, these are so proud of the block surface to give you the right, stroke. Right, right, because it's a longer stroke engine than the 4 litre ever was. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and this, oh, okay. it's just a very clever piece of cheatery, really. Yeah, but it so works. to extend the life of the block. So, that, so Diablo and stuff must all have that as well, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, um, yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. Clever. We, sh we should have said, actually, you're going to take the cylinder heads are going off for a light skim. They are, they, just a well? very light skim. Yeah. Um, they don't need a lot, but just to try and just yeah. true them up a bit, they true are slightly up. out of shape. Because people forget cylinder heads are actually hollow because yeah, of the cooler cool. passages. Yeah. So they do misshape quite right. easily, actually. Right, right. Um, yeah. Good. Flywheel isn't, hasn't come off yet, but you're going to give that a bit of a reface a or tickle something. Just, up. A, just yeah. a little thing. But uh, we have new clutch and all sorts we do. of things. Yeah. This yeah. is the new clutch, isn't it? Here. Well, that, that is actually the original clutch, which, um, like your Espada, right. uh, we can have these reconditioned right. so that it's both riveted and glued, the uh, friction oh, okay. material. Oh, Fortunately, okay. the clutch plate was saveable, Good. Uh, it's, which is very often not the case on Countach's. So. Right. There you go, you see, you have Whoa. been driving it properly. Wow, that's um, good. Um, so it's bonded and riveted to stop it flying apart with centrifugal force right. at high revs. Right. That's no, the that's pressure good. plate. And the pressure plate, now this is confusing. If you're, I mean, we've all, yeah, if you're into clutches, this is an unusual clutch. Yes, it's yes. a pull clutch. Yeah, so I hold it. And Thank you. you. Can, yeah, it's the same as Porsche 911s, Fichtel and right. Sachs, but you put, it disengages by the release bearing pulling it out yeah. instead of pushing it that in. That's so weird. It, it is, it is because, frankly yeah, normally weird. you press that way against those springs, which are the other way around, through 180. Yep. And I had no idea that's how it worked. Yeah. There must be an engineering reason, but who knows? Yes, I'm sure no somebody... Doubt, there'll be comments of what the engineering reason is. What Precisely. What we'll diaphragm, or we'll learn something. I, do, I certainly don't know. I've no. Never, no. I can't well, say I've lain at, uh, at no, week at night thinking no, about it. But no, uh, but it's just an unusual thing. I haven't seen it. Ah, brake calipers are off as well. Yeah. You think I ought to have a rebuild of those? Uh, well, they've, they've obviously got very hot. Um, you yes. can see the dust shields are a bit fried. That they're, 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 they were rubber once, and now yes. they're yeah, Going back bonfired. to Mother Nature. Yes. Yeah, they are. They're on the way out. Um, they, they really need a, a rebuild. Yeah. Um, 
And we've got a they, couple, of, couple of rose joints as well on the suspension, which uh, we've found. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is quite normal for Countaches, actually. They go through them like most world, don't yeah. they? And there's gazillions of them, isn't there? Exactly. Yeah. 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 One but of the I, few road cars with rose joints yeah. on, actually. Yeah. Must be. Not in this sort of series. But I can't wait, actually, because it always improves them. So it's one of those things, it just comes with Countach ownership. Yeah. Check the rose joints. And it gets, you get a rattle. You, get a, you can hear it in the cabin, just things rattling and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think Marcus was saying that there's a wheel bearing this side that's a bit grumbly as well, which we wouldn't have noticed because of um, the gearbox noise. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, Don't know whether you can hear yeah. that or not. So no play, but yeah. something to do there. That's a that's a race breaking down. Yeah. Um, yeah. Perfect time to do it. Yeah. No, we'll do that. Carpets we'll come to in a moment because there's some good news there. Um, whether the camera would pick this up, but this cross member we were just discussing how could be in better health. So we're just wondering if I actually might replace that tube because it's always it's upset me this bit. It's very exposed, all this. Water flies in here through this grill. Yeah. But what I didn't realise is that tube is actually that same tube there, isn't it? It is. So you have to quite a lot of, to remove it. I thought we'd just chop this bit out, but no, there's a lot of work, isn't there? There is, but James has done it before. Um, yeah. I mean, it is, on, particularly on British cars, you know, if, if yeah. they're, obviously you use this car, which is great, but um, it does just, it just yeah. gets crispy there. The water actually lies on, this is a fiberglass floor here, this yeah. sheet. As you can see, it's moving, yeah. um, and the water just traps there. And oh, it's quite often wet in there. You can't put bags in there, and I can never get over. You've got these grills here, and where do they go? They go straight. Well, that one is brakes. That one is brakes, but this one is straight into the front here. Yeah, and you just get water in here. Yes. Yeah. Look at this bubble wrap, shiny things arriving. Yes. Look at that. These are the original exhaust manifolds, um, yeah. which have responded they've been away to uh, zirka tech and they've been ceramic coated and the ends are in really good condition this so this is um oh, this. The, right. the pipe goes in there and then that yeah. clamps around yeah, yeah. and it, quite often they're rusty there so that's that's, oh, that's again great. that's great and i've done them in this sort of silver because that's what it was wasn't it yeah. x factory was a sort of silver finish well, yes some were and some yeah but uh, mine were i remember seeing silver on mine oh, but, well, there you go. yeah yeah uh, they're terrific i'm sure you could have almost anything you wanted yeah what yeah. the finish yeah. yeah oh i see oh uh, the original. generally yes yeah <laughs> yeah through yeah, yeah this one of the cash didn't they so, yes yeah. exactly yes. yeah that's the most yes. important thing <laughs> yes <laughs> they're gonna look great Carves all sitting and waiting. We'll probably have to do all new pipes and stuff on here, yeah, I'm sure. But absolutely. They haven't been looked at yet. No. So what else has been going on? Well, I did see the carpets over there because they weren't very happy. No. Well, let's go and have a look. See okay. what Craig's been up to. I can't walk past this mural without looking at my favourite detail on a mural. These yes. eyelashes. Just yeah. so beautiful. Mm. And just, you know, the fact they didn't put them on the SV almost puts me off the SV, but they're yes. just glorious. Well, there was one SV made with the eyelashes. Was that was Ferruccio's own Miura. Oh, was it? He liked yes. them as well then, obviously. This is, the, this is quite a nice little touch. God, what's that? That's your fuel filler cap. Oh, is it really? So you don't have to open the, uh, the front clamshell to... Uh, uh, I didn't know that lifted up. There you go. Wow. Wow, top tip. <laughs> Next time I drive a Mule, and they're all numbered, the chassis number, all these. Everything, they, everything almost everything on the car. Gosh. Yeah. Because they are just unique to each car, aren't they? Yes. They're made for yeah. each car. God, yeah. what a nightmare. Imagine trying to restore one of those. Oh, this is another one. <laughs> In oh, restoration. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Imagine yeah. that. Oh. Anyway, carpets. Now these, Craig, just look so different <laughs> from when I last saw them, which I can't get over. They're, yeah, to explain, I'm trying to think what was wrong. There was this hole here, we'll come yeah. to that, and they were all sort of crunched up and had no structure to it. They looked very sad. What have you done? Well, first of all, I took the rubber off, um, cleaned the rubber off, um, cleaned the rubber off, yeah. um, and, then, <coughs> and then refixed it, um, sewing in through the original holes while trying to get as close as damn it so you don't no, see the same holes. holes. Yes. 
No um, way. Because you don't want to see sort of perforations. <laughs> and, and just cleaned it up and then filled in as good as we could do. Some of the, you know, oh, there's, there's a hole there. Yeah. Tatty, there was a hole there. There was some yeah. tatty bits and also it, it, sort of, it sort of lost their gumption a bit. So I put some mohair on the bottom because we want to put fixings in it. Yeah. And the fixings would have just gone through the carpet. So, wow. Yeah. And so I've that's given it, it that I've much sewn strength. it in into yeah. the, you know, through the pile so you don't no. see it. No. My car's never had this sort of attention <laughs> at all. Uh, I can't get over there's hardly any wear on the rubber as well. Mm -hmm. That's old, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's unreal. But it's, yeah, it's a proper structure to it. Yes, and, yeah. and you have these, right, they, they that's where they so, were, weren't yes, they? Yeah, yes, that's yeah, what yeah, those yeah. were like. Yes. But those don't move. Want the, they're glued, they're are they? They're glued in, yes. yeah. So they've just been yeah, tidied I'll put up that and cleaned. There because there's, when you're putting that in, it seems to wobble around. And we've re glued some before. Right. And it just gives it, like you were saying, a bit more structure and you can you can fix it a bit. Otherwise, it's like gluing a, a doily. Right, into yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's transformed. That, yes. I, it was one of the things that so annoyed me. Every time I got in, this is all crumpled up and it just never sat straight. Yeah. So, agreed. It yeah, will be Lots very of them happy. Are like that. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to put some clips yes, on? Yeah, it? we'll put some fixings oh, on, yes. So they will yeah, just so, will so not move. Yeah, so it's not going to move. They've yeah. got, they're going structural yeah. Yeah. for the car. Yeah. yeah, well, that's brilliant, Craig. Can't get over the transformation there. Okay, Thank thanks. you. Well, it's getting there. But um, <laughs> it's slight fits and starts, isn't it? It isn't, is. Yeah, but I mean, it's partly my fault for adding more work to it because I just see we're going into the winter. So I, you know, I can't get over what Craig's done to those carpets. That would dramatically improve just that first appearance when you lift the door yeah you know, yeah well worth doing we're not you know we don't spend every waking hour trying to find something else that's wrong no, with your no, car no it's me I mean, it's me as well i just want it right we're going to this trouble we've got engine and gearbox out i want to get these jobs done yeah because this car ain't going anywhere it's yes just, um, a, yeah, yeah a permanent fixture in the garage with 60 years of Kuntash, I, you know, who knows what's going to happen next year? It'd be nice to think Lamborghini might be doing something. We don't know. So Lamborghini are back because it's September, so you can harass them for that extra gear. Exactly. I suppose. And once it's here, then it's quite quick, isn't it? To, it is. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've got everything else ready, all the bearings, etc. Yeah. Um, seals. Yeah, it is just it's very just frustrating for that matching yeah. gear to go with it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And rose joints, they're all okay, okay yeah. to get, aren't they? Yeah. They're all there. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. There we are. Yeah. Well, I will, I will come back in a month and see a gearbox perhaps mounted on that engine. Maybe. Yes. yes. <laughs> or maybe not. We shall see. It's all down to Lamborghini. But, yeah, thanks for your efforts so far. Pleasure. So, yeah, it's looking good. Thank you for your custom. Yeah. yeah. No worries. Well, there you go. That is a capture on what's happening with the Kuntash up at the Interiors Workshop. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. Keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming on very soon.